A video that sparked controversy in York County has now led to criminal indictments. This footage showed a teacher at Tab High School grabbing a student's pro-Trump flag and wrapping it around the student's head and neck. Investigators say two men later threatened the teacher. Now the men face federal charges. 13 News Now reporter Jacqueline Lee is in the newsroom with a look at those indictments. Janet, both of those men are from out of state. 53-year-old Robert Scott is based in Florida, and 40-year-old Daryl Byerly is from Nevada. Both of them allegedly threatened to kill the teacher in that video. As quickly as this video made its rounds on the internet, the threatening phone calls to Tab High School in Yorktown cascaded in. Two men, 53-year-old Robert Scott and 40-year-old Daryl Byerly, are now looking at two felonies each for allegedly threatening the teacher in this video. According to court documents, on March 3rd, Scott called Tab High School and left a voicemail, hurling racial epithets, threatening the teacher, saying he'd cut her throat, crush her skull, and kill her. Then, prosecutors say he called again and left another voicemail. Documents show this time he said he wanted to make sure the last message got through, and then he said he would shove the Trump flag down her throat, and she should hope he doesn't come across her in the street. Now let's turn to the other man. Court documents show Daryl Byerly called Tab High School on March 2nd and left a voicemail. Not only was that message filled with racial epithets, but paperwork shows he threatened to follow and murder the teacher and called her a fat pig. Then he's accused of calling the school four days later and threatening the person who answered the phone, saying he'd come down there and kill them. Byerly appeared in federal court today. He pled not guilty and demanded a trial by jury. His trial is set for July 31st in Newport News. Now, in reference to Scott, he remains in the custody of the U.S. Marshals after officials found six guns in his home, four to 5,000 rounds of ammunition and badges that could imitate law enforcement. Jacqueline Lee, 13 News Now.